Let's run through it. In the life experience of any human being, five elements are present. Purpose, destiny, mission, function, and intention. Purpose. There is a purpose of love that brought us to the world of matter. There is a purpose of love that brought us to the world of matter. It is the perfect objective of learning two things. A, to be happy within oneself, not to depend on anything or anyone in order to enjoy inner peace and happiness. B, to love one's neighbor as oneself, to respect the rights of all beings in the universe. And how do we learn this? Here we can see the perfection of the absolute's educational design. To perform the exercise of learning to be happy within ourselves, we need to live in a place with certain people and circumstances where everything that happens around us is more or less aggressive. In this way, we will realize that our problems do not lie in what happens around us, but in how we relate to it and the rejection and the resistance that we set in motion. As for the second part, Loving one's neighbor as oneself, this means respecting them just as they are, not seeking to change them, not putting up resistance to others. We need to live in a place where the people around us think differently, having varying customs and create different things. That way, we will learn to love them as they are without judging them or condemning them. This is how the purpose of love is fulfilled. It is the real reason why we human beings are here on the planet Earth. You're familiar with the concept from the Master Jesus when he stated, love thy enemies. They are not our enemies. They are people who think differently. Being happy means experiencing zero suffering about what happens. And loving means offering zero resistance to others. Wisdom is the same as love, not feeling. Those who love care deeply about others, but they do not suffer. However, those who possess goodness but not wisdom care deeply about others, but they suffer enormously. Those who do not care, the indolent, the indifferent, possess neither wisdom nor goodness. Destiny. This is what we come to learn from the world of matter. How to manage the seven tools of love to attain invulnerable peace. It is a great opportunity to learn what we are missing. All of us bring to the world a destiny that is inevitable and highly valuable. Our culture teaches us to try and avoid destiny instead of showing us how to harness it. The key to harnessing in destiny is you have the capacity to enjoy whatever you do because that capacity is within you. However, if someone says to their child, you must always do what you like, this will generate a huge block in them. Destiny is an educational design whose purpose is to enable human beings to verify and discover information that governs the universe and its perfect order. It is therefore the best opportunity for transcending all human limitations. Instead of complaining about the difficulties that we face in life, we must take advantage of them as a great opportunity for transcending them. Then they will disappear for good. If we do not learn from difficulties, far from disappearing, they will become more complicated. They will persist and they will become permanent. Mission. This is what we can teach the world of matter. We should enjoy our mission intensely, whether or not it is a part of our function. Our mission enables us to recuperate a large amount of the vital energy invested in the exercise of learning to be happy. Our mission is what we already understand, what we already know. It can therefore be used to serve others while bringing enormous enjoyment. Both our mission and our destiny are represented in our personality. The latter through our belief system and the former through our understanding. As we progressively transmute our ignorance into understanding and wisdom, we will increasingly have a bigger mission and therefore be more satisfied. Function. This is what each individual does to support themselves. It consists in putting all possible enthusiasm, joy, and love into what one does, even if it is not a part of one's mission. We know that all living beings have a function within the order of the universe. It takes wisdom to accept it with joy, enthusiasm, and total capacity for action and service. One's function does not consist in earnings one living. Living is not earned because it is a divine gift. Living is not earned because it is a divine gift. What one earns is what supports this biological entity, this body. Thus, our support is guaranteed as a result of our function. 
Those who are happy and enjoy what they do will always have an abundance of resources at their disposal. Intention. This is what we want for ourselves or for others. Intention must be directed in a way that does not interfere with the destinies of others nor seek to avoid our own destiny. Intention is the most complex element for human beings today because feelings, the idea of kindness, and other ideas that our culture has erroneously conveyed to us lead us continually to try and interfere with the destinies of others. If we were to accept that destiny is something extraordinary and not bad, that it is the best opportunity that we have to fulfill what we came to do in the world, we would stop trying to change the destiny of others. When a son or daughter wants to fly the nest and their parents object to it, how should we act as not to interfere? We always want things to go our way. In this case, the parent considers that it's not the right moment for the son or daughter because they may not have a steady job. For example, they do not want them to leave home. The I wants are the cause of suffering. And I want is also unconscious selfishness because we want others to be happy doing what we want them to do. What would be the wise and loving thing to do in this case? Say to the son or daughter, what matters most to me is that, a, that you are happy and you find your way. So we respect your decision. We want you to know that you can always come back and the door is always open. In short, wisdom means being clear about our purpose, taking advantage of our destiny, enjoying our mission, accepting the function, and holding the intention of not interfering in the destiny of others. All this must be practiced in thought, word, and deed.